in my opinion, it's not about the plugins you have. It's about you and what you can do with the plugins. If you can get sick with stock plugins, if you can make fire beats with stock plugins, when you do get the paid plugins, pff, your beats are going to be out of this world. What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the video. In today's one, I'm going to be making a fire melody, a fire beat, but I'm going to be using stock plugins only. So that means no Omnisphere, no Nexus, no Addictive Keys, no Keyscape, none of these plugins that cost dollars. I'm going to be using stock plugins in Logic Pro X and maybe a few free ones as well on top of it. I'm going to prove to you that you can make good beats using stock plugins because in my opinion, plugin doesn't maketh man, man maketh plugin. In other words, the plugin is not going to make you, you make the plugin. It's all about you as a producer, what you can do with the plugin. So yeah, let's get into it. Ocean Gang go drown. Alright, so I've got Logic Pro X open. I downloaded some stock plugins because I actually realised I didn't have any in here. I deleted them all. So let's just find like what they got. Standard piano. I'm, I'm going to look for like an orchestral instrument or a world instrument because those are like the sounds that I prefer recently. They've got quite a lot of choice. Just looking through these stock plugins, like, there's actually quite a lot of choice. I'm not gonna lie, ever since I started buying plugins, I haven't opened up stock plugins in a long time. Like I haven't used any of these sounds for ages, but looking through them, like there's actually some good choice. Let's put this BPM to about 140 so it's a bit faster. And I'm just going to pencil in a quick melody. Let's move this down an octave. Uh, I like that, let me just go ahead and duplicate over to that side, turn them up. And then I'm going to add some variation in the second part. Alright, I like that for the melody, nice and simple. I don't want to do too much. I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to move this down an octave. Let me see if I can find like another sound to go underneath it. Oh, I like that. I think I might have to choose this one. I'm going to keep it dead simple. I don't want to make it too melodic, too much going on. I just want to keep it real simple. So I like that. Let me go ahead and bounce that out. And then I'm going to add a bunch of stock effects to this. So I just dragged in the sample and I want to add a few effects to it. Let me just EQ it out a bit. EQ out some of that low end. And I'm going to chop this sample up too so you can give it a nice ping pong effect. Now they're all chopped up, I'm going to select all of them, go to region and I'm going to fade them in just a little bit and fade them out as well. Let's add some effects on it now. Some isotope vinyl, that is a free plugin, you can download this for free. Nice and simple, I'm going to keep the melody just like that. I literally just use two stock sounds and a few effects. I think I'm just going to go ahead and turn this into a full beat, add some drums on top of it. 
I wish in Logic there was some gross beat or something similar. I haven't come across it, but I'd like to gross beat this melody as well for some variation. So last but not least to add to this beat is an 808. I think because the melody is quite simple, the 808 is going to be like the thing that stands out in this beat. It's basically going to be like a counter melody to the main melody. and simple like that, quantize everything and let's add in some distortion I hear a flute, I need to add in a flute before I forget it But yeah, that's about it for this beat. That's me cooking up with some stock and some free plugins. In my opinion, it's not about the plugins you have. It's about you and what you can do with the plugins. If you can get sick with stock plugins, if you can make five beats with stock plugins, when you do get the paid plugins, your beats are gonna be out of this world. So if you don't have like the Omnispheres, the Nexuses of this world, you can still make some fire beats with stock plugins. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and let me know if you use stock plugins. As I was going through the stock sounds, there's definitely some good ones in Logic. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out this person from the last video. Thanks for commenting. That's about it for this one. I'll see you guys in the future.